Hi, my name is Dave McLaughlin. I've been told when most people think of Greater Lowell Tech, they think of me. I started my teaching career at Lowell Trade High School in 1970 before transferring over to Greater Lowell Tech, where I spent more than 38 fabulous years teaching and coaching. As you can see, they named this new cafeteria after me. Now, let's go down and take a look at the auto collision department. Most of that department has been here as long as I have been here, and it could sure use some modernization. My name is Rich Sorrow, and I work at the Greater Lowell Vocational School here in uh, Tingsboro, Mass. We're one of the biggest vocational schools in the state. Um, I've been doing collision repair since, geez, 1978. That puts me over 30 years' experience. Uh, I've done a lot of different things. I've worked at a dealership body shop, private body shop. I've run a private body shop. Um, I've run a shop. I actually ran two shops at one point, okay? Um, my son's an Eagle Scout. I love working with kids. I did a lot with the Boy Scouts and consequently I enjoy working with young people trying to teach them what I know, um, especially when they're really ambitious and they're really curious about wanting to learn the skill. Well, a typical day we have homeroom right here in the shop over at the other side. We have a table. Kids will uh, kind of finish up their breakfast and we'll get to work. On Mondays we'll have a, a little safety briefing. We, have a, we try to cover a piece every week of safety. Um, I'll write on the board over there, uh, parts of the frameworks we'll be covering for the day. I try to track uh, what jobs we have and what, what's available, and I'll kind of give the kids a prod to uh, pick what they want to get working on. If not, I will assign them something to do. Um, I'm trying very hard to keep things active down here and keep kids busy um, with relevant work and successful work. We're trying to uh, shed collision repair in a, in a good light, uh, which is sometimes difficult to do you know um, it's seen as a dirty business sometimes it's seen as a um, it's seen as work because it is work um, it takes a little bit to get these kids motivated but when I do they tend to want to work we work on live work all the time uh, we have a restoration job behind me that's a Volkswagen bus that came in beginning of the school year and it's just about ready for paint we did a tremendous amount of work to it um, and I credit the kids for working hard on it. Um, I know it got to be seeing the same car is sometimes a little difficult. Uh, what I'll do sometimes is have uh, a car that needs a lot of work and we'll just take a bite out of it, do some of the work, and then have them come back for another time so they can see the cars actually go in and out of the shop. Um, as far as safety goes, safety in our shop is covered by SB2, which covers the right to know and covers all the safety aspects of the shop. But on our safety weekly briefings, we talk about pieces of equipment and how you can get hurt. And I incorporate some of my life experiences. I've seen a lot of things over the years. Uh, I've seen people get hurt. I'm looking for some hand tools. Um, when I came to the school, we had a couple of older demo cars here, and I'm not really interested in having kids work on something unless it's going to be successful and it's going to be a good experience for them because it's it's hard enough to get a kid to understand and want to work I want to keep it dynamic and exciting so we have a couple of vehicles here that were donated by uh, a friend of mine who owns a shop in Boston I got 2015s I'm looking to get a couple more uh, uh, Chevy Envoys, okay, so we'll have the same vehicle. We can do a tremendous amount of uh, teaching with uh, the hand tools I'm requesting, and the students will be able to take these cars apart, put them back together, swap out parts from one to the other. I've already ordered um, a tremendous amount of clips that may break when we disassemble these cars because these cars are not going to be uh, treated like uh, a school, typical school demo. These are going to be cared after, they're going to be treasured, they're going to be yeah. used to take apart and reassemble. There's a tremendous amount of stuff we can do with them, and that's what I plan on doing with these. And I think it'll be, it'll be great experience for the kids, the sophomores. Then as they get to be juniors and seniors, they can do more and more help with live cars. But we have some great kids down here that really want to learn. I have some kids that are curious, which is the ultimate. If you can get a kid who's curious and wants to be active and wants to keep busy doing things versus not doing anything, it's a great thing. The one thing we want for the grant is the hand tools. Okay, there's a, I have a slip of $10,000 worth of hand tools. There are other power tools and things we need, but just basic hand tools. I, I ordered some, I'm trying to order some carts so I can put together with proper um, retainers to keep them in order in the toolbox so they're not all bouncing around. Um, so that's, that's key. That's going to be huge for the kids to be able to use that and have a really great experience. Stands behind me, there's a USB stand. We do a fender job every year with the freshmen, sophomores when they come in. And um, we repair a fender. Um, 
We actually beat it up three different times because they really need to work out learning how to repair the metal. So we dent it three separate times. Then we cut it and we allow them to do a custom paint job where they use uh, two different colors and a stencil uh, or flames and they keep it pretty simple and we get them done and then they have a small front end of a fender they can take home. But those sand stands are expensive but they'll really hold apart. Uh, you can flip them upside down any which way you want so they're probably the best stand out there. So it's good for them when they're working on a panel to have a stand like that. Uh, we need some 3M sanding blocks. Uh, we were kind of, when I uh, first came to the school here we had wet sanding blocks that kids were using for dry production paper versus uh, Velcro paper so we're trying to get just some simple sanding blocks not a tremendous amount of money but still we, we don't have the budget for it you know we're looking for some 3m sanding blocks um, panel stands um, we have a small order of some uh, things to get our mig welding setups uh, properly equipped uh, welding helmets would be the key one there um, welding helmets and respirators for the welders i enjoy working with these kids um, i think we've come a long way in my time here and there's a lot of excitement in the shop we did uh, the pedal car challenge when i started I, I told the kids that we'd be going to boston to the car show and that they would send us a pedal car and we would get the opportunity to customize it and bring it to the show and enter it into a contest and the kids i kept my word which is key to kids and i i took them to the car show they had a great day we came in third place um, it got put in a local paper and the kids kids felt proud about what they did you know so I I've really gotten some kids I, I really know how to get kids uh, behind me and get kids to understand I do care about them and I think once they know that then it's easy to work with them and you can actually mentor them a lot better if they respect you and you're honest with them and you, you tell it like it is and that's what I do and I appreciate the opportunity to do it and I also appreciate the opportunity to get some funding from you because we, we really could use it here I expressed to the kids that, you know, possibly not everybody in the shop is who's going to work with you. You want to find the tech that you can work well with, okay? When you sweep the floor, you don't want to just shovel up the dirt and throw it away. When we clean up shop here, part of our procedures, and we do have procedures in place here for most of the things we do, like cleanup, in that we wrap up the hoses first, put away the cords, then we sweep up, okay? And when, before we sweep the trash into the barrel, we kind of look through it to make sure there's not a $10 socket or a $50 wrench or something like that. And the kids know that so that when they get to a shop and, you know, what, maybe one of the senior techs says, geez, that kid probably swept up my wrench or swept up this. No, no, no. Uh, that kid came from Greater Lowell and he, he knows enough to look in the trash before he, he dumps it, you know. I have them check in parts so they know how to check in parts. That's a big thing in the shop. You need to check in the parts, see if they're all correct, see if they're all there, if they're damaged. So there is a little prep talk that goes with that, and I enjoy it, you know. Resumes. We do do resumes. We have a program in the school that the guidance councils work with called Naviance. So they have access to that. They have an online account, and they all create a, um, a resume. Uh, I personally tell them to create for themselves a a reference list and I told them that you know you want three people shouldn't have your last name and you that 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 list may change as time goes on I talk to them about networking I tell them that you know when you meet somebody that you think in life you want to remember because you were impressed by them or you thought that maybe uh, they're in the business that you want to be in to get their business card usually at graduation I'll pass out a few to my upper class students some uh, re uh, business card portfolio so they can keep a collection of that just their first introduction to like networking and it seems to work out good um, but we also have set up where shop owners will come in at the end of the year and we'll do some mock interviews you know I interview them every day it's a it's a it's an on it's an ongoing process with me I do talk with them uh, in the interview form uh, we work in a situation like I'm the boss and you're the employee and we want to keep things going Every day is a new day. We don't hold any grudges. We come in, we start fresh, and hopefully they get it. And uh, you, you can feel it when they do, and it's a good experience when they do.